Hi, this is Craig from DiviThemeExamples.com and today we're going to have a quick look at the new Divi Switch plugin from Divi Space, uh, which is available to buy for $20. The plugin basically allows you to add various customizations to your Divi theme just by flicking a switch in your dashboard. So once you've purchased the plugin, you need to upload and activate it onto your website and once you've done that you will in your dashboard you'll see this Divi switch by gritty section which lists all of the customization options and each one will have a switch to toggle it on and off. Now you don't need to save settings once you've toggled them the changes will appear on your front end so we have a test site got test uh, post and we got a test page here so remove the menu bottom line I just refresh that so here you can see it's removed refresh the page and see it comes back. Now mobile menu on desktop is something that is requested quite a lot in the various groups and there with a the flick of the switch you've got a mobile menu on desktop and you can then change that to a side menu. So instead of um, the mobile menu scrolling down, you have the side menu coming in. So you can combine the various uh, toggles here. So this is this is actually something I did on Divi theme examples last week to make the first menu link fly in on scroll. So check that. And you can see the first menu item when you scroll down it flies in and flies out so it's a good way to draw attention to something you need in the header and what I also did on Divi theme examples was to make that a button and you can do that using these two so we have a flat menu button and a 3D menu so we're going to grab CSS class we're going to turn it on and you need to go and add the class into your menu so we'll open the menus page and on the first one if you don't see CSS classes you need to click on screen options and check the box here and there you have the input field button light so we're going to save the menu close that go to the front end and now we sh refresh you should have a sliding in button which we do so it it's uh, basically a big time saver. I mean, most of these um, customizations are already available if you search online, but it's going to take you a lot longer. So I've basically just done that in a minute, and I've got a flying in call to action button on the menu. So there's a lot of options to pick from. Remove the dividing sidebar line. This one, a lot of people seem to want to do that. Refresh the page and there it's gone. Center align header, hide bottom footer. So if we refresh, this whole bar should disappear. 
uh, and section separators. So again, you need to copy the class. So we're going to do a slant. So we've got top section and bottom section. So we're going to do a top section. We need to turn it on. Go to our page and I'm going to put a slant in here. So this is a call to action. So we need to go into edit page. And go down to our call to action in the section settings go to custom CSS and you add the DS underscore slant underscore top save that update and view the page and we should have there we go a slanting divider so you can also do the arrows and circles for these two dividers so we've got CSS filters place the toggle icon these are for different um, aspect ratio for your portfolio images Cleaner blog comments, blurb icon grow. Let's try that one. Because we have some blurbs here. As you can see at the moment they don't do anything. If we refresh the page. And you can see they grow. And we've also got a spinning one as well. Make your blurb. So obviously these are images, not icons. So it works on images and icons. And again, this is something I added the other week as well that you can add here a flip, flick of a switch so if we go up to as you can see on the slider the default slide the description fades in from the bottom and the image fades in from the left so let's make the slide description fly in from the right and the slide image flip. So now if we refresh the page, it's coming in from the right and the image is flipping. Again, something doing that would take you a lot of searching and adding code. So we've got remove bullet points from the footer, stop gallery images opening in a light box, hide the logo before scroll, square buttons, code boxes. If you're using contact form 7 this one's going to be really useful. Flick the switch and your contact form 7 will get the Divi look. Hiding counter when it hits zero as number counters, countdown timers uh, look a bit rubbish if they're stuck on zero. Stop the footer floating on empty pages. So if you don't have enough content in your page like on this one you see the footer rises up to the bottom of the content leaving a ugly white gap. So if we try this one I would think it's gonna 
stick this footer out onto the bottom, which it does. And you can have last few project overlays, you can have zoom, spin or slide. So basically there's a lot of different options to customize your Divi site and you can do it at the flick of a switch really easy and it's going to save you a lot of time. I think I'll probably be using this plugin myself a fair bit. Anyway, head over to Divi Space and get yourself a copy.